I think we've all been here before where we type something in the address bar at the top of the screen and it stays in our history. Now, how do you get rid of it? This guide is going to show you how. If you're watching this as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner. If you're watching the full video, hang tight. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, you might have typed something in the address bar at the top of the screen and and perhaps you don't want it to stay there. It could well be that you've done something quite innocent. It might be that at the end of the day, you've been searching for a present for the other half. And at every time you type the letter, say G, for instance, on mine, it comes up green dresses with white dots for women size 16. If my other half was to go on here and just type G in the address bar at the top of the screen, that's something she's going to see. And she's going to see I'm going to be I've got well, I've been searching for green dresses with white dots. And she's probably going to put two and two together and she's going to find out what I'm going to get her for her birthday or for Christmas. Now, how do you get rid of this? Well, first of all, all you need to do is just go to the address bar at the top of the screen and just start to type the word that you want to get rid of. You might even just be able to get away with just typing the first letter. So, in, for example, in my case, I've typed the letter G because I was searching for green dresses with white dots for women size 16. So there you go. As you can see, it's come up. Now, how do I get rid of this? How do I stop this from coming up in the future? Now, now, all I need to do is just find the arrow keys on my keyboard. These arrow keys are usually somewhere towards the right hand side of the keyboard and somewhere near the bottom. And they are arrows There's arrow pointing up, arrow pointing down, arrow pointing left, arrow pointing right. And they're usually together. So find that key. OK, and just keep pressing the down button until the line that you want to get rid of is highlighted. So as you can see, my green dresses with white dots for women size 16 is now highlighted. The next thing we need to do is locate the shift key on your keyboard. This might actually say the word shift or it might just simply be an arrow pointing upwards, usually on the left hand side of the keyboard underneath the caps lock and above the control or CTRL key. So hold that down and then with that held down, just tap the delete key or the Dell key. This key is normally located on the right hand side of the keyboard. And let's like say it's either marked Dell, D-E-L or delete. So with the shift key held down, tap Dell or delete. And then hopefully it will just disappear. Now, if you see further down the screen, that it shows again and it's got history search beside it, then just move your mouse over the cross just to the right of the line where it says the word that you're the sentence that you're trying to get rid of. Click on the cross and that removes the suggestion. And then let's just just try this again. So let's just type the letter G and there we go. It will no longer come up with that word. Now, if I carry on typing green dresses, now it will come up as a suggestion still, but it won't actually be the exact wording that I've searched for. And this is just basically Google or your search engine suggesting things that you would probably like to search for to save you typing it. Now, there's no way of getting rid of those, unfortunately, but this does not show anything that you've searched for. But this is just merely uh, Google or Bing or Yahoo suggesting what it thinks you're looking for. And this would come up on anybody's computer. OK, so let's try this in another browser. I've, I've just done that in Edge. So let's come out of Edge. I'm going to go into Google Chrome next and I've searched for the same thing in Google Chrome. So let's just type green and there you go. It's come up. In actual fact, in Google Chrome, there's actually a clock just to the left of green dresses for woman size 16. And that means that, yes, I have searched for that pr previously in the history. And what I can do is there is if there is an X just to the right, I can just click on the X there. That's a left click and that should get rid of it. And hopefully if I search for it again, there we go. It's not going to come up as a, a part of my history in the address bar at the top of the screen. So what about Firefox? Let's just go into Mozilla Firefox. I've typed in something slightly different here. I've typed in something a bit embarrassing. So every time 
I type the word S, it comes up sexy black underwear for women size 16. Now, what if I want to get rid of that? In Thunderbird, I move my mouse over it. No, there's no X to the right, so I can't get rid of that from there. So what I do is, again, I just type the first part of the word that I'm trying to get rid of and then use the arrow keys once again. Those are the keys with the arrows on them on the keyboard to go down to highlight the words that I want to get rid of. Then hold down the shift key. That's the key on the left hand side of the keyboard, either with the word shift or an arrow pointing upwards and then tap the Dell or delete key, which is on the right hand side of the keyboard once. And there we go. As you can see, it disappears. Let go of the shift key and let's just try typing in the word S again. And there you go. As you can see, that embarrassing search phrase doesn't come up again. Now, this guide doesn't clear your history. It does just remove the uh, the words from the address bar at the top of the screen. If you want to fully clear your history, then go across to the three horizontal lines at the top right hand corner of the screen and try and find settings, go into there and then go into privacy and security. And then we want to scroll down and we should find here like a clear data button. Check what you want to clear and then click clear. That's in Firefox. Please be aware that this may well sign you out of websites or your email if you use a web based email system. So make sure that you've got any passwords before doing this in edge. It's the three dots up in the top right hand corner, then go to settings and then go to privacy search and services. Scroll down to clear browsing data, then go to choose what to clear. And here you can actually select just browsing history just by clicking on the box to the left of it. And you can select the time period for what you want to clear the history. So you can say if you've done it in the last hour, you can say last hour. If you, do, if you know you went to that website in the last 24 hours or seven days, you can select that there, even four weeks, so that it doesn't clear everything, just, uh, just the most recent stuff. You can also clear cookies and other site data, cached images and files, passwords, autofill form data, site permissions, all data from the previous version of Microsoft Edge and Media Foundation data. I mean, generally here, you're only going to really need browsing history, but please bear in mind if you delete cookies and other site data and passwords, then you are going to get logged out of certain websites that you may have logged into. So you'll need the passwords to get back into them after doing this. If you're in Chrome, go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner, then go down to settings, go to privacy and security and go down to privacy and security set section on the right and then clear browsing data. And again here, exactly the same. You can choose whether you want to remove stuff in the last hour, last 24 hours, last seven days, four weeks or all time. But generally you can untick all the other things here, cookies and site data, cached image and files, and just uh, just clear the browsing history. If you go into advanced there, you've got some more stuff in there. But again, really, you only need to make sure that you're clearing the browsing history. If you uh, select anything else like cookies and other site data, again, it could log you out of certain websites you're logged into. So you're going to need the password to get back into them again. The same applies if you remove passwords and other sign in data as well. Hope you like this video. And if you did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Whilst you're here, hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.